we know we need we have water over here city there city there you know maybe this time i think we need to use more mixed goods there's the terminal station so we'll go ahead and put that thing like right here this time too tight huh oh boy did we just kind of hose ourselves i think we did come on give me money i need 23 i don't think this is gonna do it oh man it's gonna be real tight. Oh man, so close. Hello everyone and welcome back to Addo's Playtime. Today we're jumping back into Station to Station, where in the last episode, we uh, got 100% on Flint Hills, but we seem not to have 100% anymore. When I clicked on Flint Hills, uh, it showed a level three popped up as well as Sun Sand Forge. It popped up a level five that wasn't there before. So maybe in the last update, they've really done some big changes. Now in the last update as well, they added a couple new cool features that I'm going to show off in as soon as we get this level beat. So in this one, we have a funds challenge where we have to end the level with at least $4,000 left. And then a star challenge of using one railroad, connect one city's passengers to five other cities. Not really sure what that means, but we'll give it a shot. I mean, I don't really know. So we have a new card here, a passenger terminal station. Place one free station where passengers can transfer to another city, allowing indirect connections between cities. I bet that's how you do it. So if you place this here or here, here, and then you can connect all of the cities to each other by passengers. Well, let's give it a shot. So we'll put that there. Um, we'll put this up here a little bit. And then if we just went ahead and brought this out here and connected it to there. Try to keep this a little bit organized because, you know, that's what we like to do. We'll keep it a little bit on the more organized side of things. Yeah, nice and straight. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, that's better. And then that'll connect passengers to the luxury. All right. And then... Fantastic. So we got new cards, cheap rails, and more luxury passengers, but we didn't quite get that. So let's say I will put, if I connect you two up, like so, with a luxury passenger. Oh, there. Oh, that's the indirect. Oh. Okay, so these guys are making a connection here to get to this station and not that city. Oh, all right. That seems kind of easy enough. Lots of water in another city. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and connect the cities up first. I think oh, I should probably come out farther. Let's bring this straight up. Goes straight over. I probably ought to put a station there. <laughs> um, tell you what, we're probably going to end up hooking up all the water at once. So let's go ahead and... Should we just go over the top here? That's two bridges. All right, so if we do this, it's going to be 275. Cheap rails makes it 200. And then if we wiggle this through there it's 80 dollars okay oh man cheap rails is the best all right and let's go ahead and do the luxury and then we're connecting three cities to each other oh that is fantastic that card is overpowered okay let's do our buildings first let's see where the rest of our cities are there's one there okay and then Oh, there's two more. I can get even more. Okay, let's see our cards. Oh, another station. So, if I connect a station to a station, 
Is that the same thing as stack bone seeing all those to this one? Let's find out. You, you saw it here first, folks. Um, let's try to get this a little mm, tighter, I guess. And we'll do the luxury because we have it. Oh, man, yeah, that's a four stack bonus. So that's how you get the multi stack bonus. And you, oh, my goodness, look at all that money. Whoa, we just got lots of dinero. OK, and we still have luxury passengers and railroad crossings. OK, OK, OK. Um, Let's go ahead. We need to think about this. We're going to squeeze this guy right here. Just because I'm thinking we'll probably connect all of the waters up and to everything at once. The one thing is, is I don't have a freight over here. So that might be a little bit difficult. But we can make it. We can make it. I'm sure we can. So if we connect this guy to there and do a luxury passenger star challenge complete. That is awesome. And I tell you what, just because we can, we're going to go ahead. Dang, look at all that money. We're going to go ahead and connect this one. It's a little bit on the wasteful side, to be honest with you. But I want to connect all of these guys up if I can do it. I'm going to leave a little bit of space here because I need to be able to put another freight through here. Mm, actually, I think it would be better if we went ahead and used this outside track. Maybe bring this around like so. That is super wasteful. Let's go like this. And do a luxury because this will give us a big boost of money like because that's all of them stacked up there we go an extra grand 1500 oh boy baby okay so now we need to hook all of the waters up and all of these guys with freight so somehow hey let's see here if I connect you to you with freight and I use a railroad crossing, okay, a freight to you, and then I connect freight to you, those two are connected with freight, it's these two guys that I'm most worried about. feel like we're being a little bit wasteful here. Let's see. This could be a bit on the challenging side. I am not sure if we're going to make it, money-wise at least. Because it is expensive. So that's freight. You're connected. You do not have a freight connection. There's freight. So there's a freight to there to there. So let's check to see if I did this. Those two guys are connected. I think everybody is connected with freight. Let's go ahead and get some more of these going. So I will connect you to you. You to you. And you to you with freight and if I connect that that is one two one one two three four five six of them is that everybody no why do I have this extra one here I totally have an extra one one two three four five six and I have how many cities one two three four five six seven so see i need 
somehow to get this connected to that to connect to this and everybody's happy Oof. or do i go across here hmm it would be a very expensive rail to go from there to there That's a $500 railroad. This is... So what's it over here? 444 Oh, it's cheaper over here. That's for sure. Um... Dang, I wish I could just make that a bridge across. Tell you what. You know what? We're going to bite the bullet and we're going to do it. That's a little ridiculous. But just so that we can connect everybody up at once... And I should get an enormous stacking bonus. Yeah, we're well within the monies. And everybody has their water all at once. Everything is glorious. Ah, oh, man. Wicked cool. Right? Oh, no. Somebody didn't get their water? Oh, I don't have a... Oh, silly Addo. Uh-oh. This could be a bit of a pickle. <laughs> Dang it. I thought for sure we had it. Like one fail swoop. There we go. Last one got us water. Okay. Now these are level eight because of all the passengers. These are beautiful little cities. One right here on the corner amazing what the, that's crazy man let's see what else we got nice so some of the new features is is that you can follow the train in photo mode so now you can uh, use the controls s and w a and d by s and then you can get in real close it's awesome you can like really look at the trains and then if you want to get into the train, I can. I can just ride along inside the train. So this is some of the new features that they just came out with. You can change like how blurry things go, hide the interface, all that kind of stuff. It's like you're really a part of the trains now. Oh man, this is so cool. This is so fun. Look at the passenger trains. Bye passenger trains. Yeah. So this is very, very cool. And then you just uh, right click to to kind of get out of it. So you can zoom in and zoom out on specific trains. You can adjust the blurriness of it if you really wanted to and make it super blurry. Well, that was ridiculous. But yeah, we're going to do the auto on that. So yeah, take screenshots much easier. Very, very cool. Then you can leave the photo mode whenever you want. So that was one of the new features that they just came out with. So you can see, I, I, I really do believe it's so that they can get like a better, like flatter view of everything. I think that that was something that I personally wanted. So yeah, you can zoom way out. You can zoom way in and roll around and kind of just get like a, a people view of everything. Yeah. Anyways, that's enough of that photo mode. Very cool. All right, let's go on to the next challenge. All of our buildings are complete. We got plenty of money, that's for sure. And then the special achievement got it as well. All right, unlocked level two. So let's jump into it. Okay, so let's try something different. As you saw from the intro, oh my gosh, this level has given me some terror. So we're gonna try something absolutely crazy. All right, it's... You're going to think it's nuts, but we're going to do it anyways. So let's try to hit up as many of these lost goods on this first rail as we possibly can. Bringing it all the way to here. And so we will probably need to... Um, probably need to connect it on this side. I want to try to, you know, not make it as cheap as possible, but we're going to do the best that we can <laughs> and we're going to double those goods so let's let's make sure that we're doing not going too absolutely nuts on this 
as we will probably need to bring some rail up this way as well. So let's... Now we have several of those. Let's do cheap rails on this, for sure. And you know what? Let's just do cheap bridges and make that as cheap as possible. First thing. So let's... Let's do that. We doubled the goods. That's 700 coin. Boom. Okay. That's a lot of coin, to be honest with you. All right. So now that we have this, we'll go ahead and bring, break out all of these. So now we have everything we need. Okay. Sorry. We should probably should have clicked on that first thing. So now we have the mountain train. So the mountain train should probably go right here. Let's bring this guy down as far as we can go. Bring this around. Connect that there. And let's cheap this up as best as we can. Just eliminate that one. And then that. Can we eliminate that one, yes. Alright, cool. So we need to do 97. 97. And then we'll do the mountain train to give us a little extra on that. Wonderful. Got us a little bit of extra cash on that. So then I kept trying to figure out how in the world that I could get all of these connected at once. But the water, I just don't think it's possible. So what we'll do is we will go ahead and connect water there. Probably eliminate that one. And then since we have another mountain thing this should give us a reasonable amount of money for that one okay so that one's got water all it needs is passengers and that's it all right now we need to go ahead and try to get this guy connected with this one Let's try to tighten that up as best as we can. Can I do that? No, I definitely need that right there. Okay, and then that will be a freight train to get this university going. All right, Ugh. okay. The next thing to do is let's go ahead and put this guy here and we'll cook, hook him up to some water. do it like the 60 can I get 60 out of this no yes there we'll go ahead and hit that get that little bonus there and then I think I want to do the passenger terminal right up against this city like so so that I can bring a passenger train no not yet. So what we'll do first is we will put this guy here. We will put this guy probably. Let's see. We will go right like this. Bring this thing up like that. I bring this back a little, save myself some money, but still hit that. Yes. What about here? Okay. There. Straighten it out. Can I do both of these? Good. There we go. 75. That should be much better. And then what I can do is go from here to there and have a mixed train. And then that guy's got water. And then what I can do as well. So the only person that doesn't have water. No, everybody has water now. So now I need to hook up this train there. 
And I want to bring this out just a little bit. Because what we're going to trick D do is use the parallel lines to save ourselves some money to go up there. So we will do, I don't know, just a regular passenger there. And then we'll bring this guy around. And we'll do a luxury there. Getting ourselves money. Come on, baby. Okay. A mixed train. Oh, pfft. we could have used that like 10 minutes ago. So now that we have our parallel lines, we're going to do it right there. Saving ourselves as much money as possible. 64. And we will do a luxury passenger. And we should be good. That was exactly what we needed to do. Oh my gosh, this took me forever, guys. Oh man, hardest level. And honestly, we got both stars this time. Holy cow. Whew. Okay, so I, oh my gosh, two stars. Got the star challenge and the funds challenge. My mind is broken. It is broken right now. Oh my gosh. I This was the hardest level that I've had to do so far to get both challenges. Ah, but man, it is so rewarding because check it out. That looks epic right there. That looks so cool. Getting that station and this all together at the same time. That is so cool. That is so cool. Oh, man. Okay. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Let's head on to the next level. Let's see. Let me see that challenge piggy get filled up. Yes. Level completed. Oh, man. That's so nice. Okay. Well, man. All right, guys. So, like as I said, it took me four ever to get level two 100% completed. So if I'm going to cut it out here, I know it's maybe a, a little bit of a short video. I got to go and edit this to see how long it really is, but it could be very, very short video. So if you did enjoy, please make sure that you like and subscribe as it does help the channel out. If you watched it all the way to the end here, thank you so much for watching it to the end. I do appreciate it. Uh, I will come back and do levels three and four for sure in the next episode. And if you're excited for that, please make sure that you come back to watch more. So this is Addo from Addo's Playtime. Please don't forget to keep gaming for the love of games. Bye now.